Hi, I'm Kristen Kashinsky. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, that's kind of why I'm doing this video is to just tell you a little bit about us and how we came to begin homeschooling our kids. So when, when COVID hit, our middle daughter was in a private Christian school for kindergarten and we were barely making ends meet, some months not even making ends meet to put her through that school because I already was not a fan of public schools. I'm a speech therapist. Um, that's what I went to school for my master's in. I worked in yeah. schools for a number of years and I just was not a fan of the public school system. I thought that, um, you know, even, you know, years ago that there were too many kids that were falling through the cracks. So anyway, when COVID ended up hitting and everybody was sent home, I was, you know, sitting at the kitchen table, still paying an insane amount of tuition, but I was teaching the lessons through a computer at the table. And so my husband and I were going back and forth on whether or not we wanted to put her back in the school next year because we didn't know masks and vaccines, like all of that. We just didn't know what was going to happen. And so I'd been praying a lot about it. And I was driving in June and I heard the words, you're going to homeschool. I was like, what are you talking about? I am not homeschooling. Um, homeschooling is something that my husband and I had very briefly discussed, you know, when maybe the kids were in middle school, maybe we'll do it then because that's a really difficult or can be a really difficult time for them. Hormones and things like that changing. Hi. This is Scarlett Jane. This is my eight-year-old. I, I just collected some sap. <laughs> some sap. Yes. Thank you, love. Can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're at a campsite right now. Anyway. See him. Um, it's okay. So I heard those words and I was like, oh my goodness, homeschooling. Um, okay. So I started researching because like I said, it wasn't something that was really on my radar at all. And through my research, I was like, okay, I accept what I've been asked to do by Heavenly Father. And I found a really awesome co-op that the kids would go to campus two days a week. And then the other three days, I would use the curriculum that they had chosen and I would teach the kids on those days. So I paid um, for like the down payment for like the first month or whatever deposit. I don't remember exactly what it was. It wasn't a lot of money, um, but it, it was some money. And um, I was going about and I was doing something else and I heard the words, you're, you're not supposed to be there. You're supposed to do this on your own. Um, and I was like, what? No, like no way am I gonna do this homeschooling thing on my own. There's too many options out there for homeschool curriculum. I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never done this. There's, yeah. And, but the voice was adamant. You are homeschooling and you are doing it on your own. You are not supposed to be part of this community. And so um, it's ironic though, actually, because I ended up teaching yoga at that community uh, last year on our second year of homeschooling. So it's a beautiful community. It was just that the Lord wanted me doing it on my own. And fast forwarding to we're entering our third year of homeschooling. I really think that it was because he wanted me to gain the understanding that I am enough to be their teacher. Um, I've always been their teacher. And so this is just, you know, in a, in a slightly different capacity, it's more all encompassing than, you know, I originally looked at it. And so that's kind of how we came to start homeschooling and uh, we're entering our third year and I have, I have two kids I homeschool, my now eight year old who you just saw and then our son is going to be six at the end of September. And we do have a third kiddo, she's 16. Um, she's not with us on this adventure. Um, maybe someday when she's a little bit older and, and of legal age, I'll be able to share that part of our journey because it is a very integral um, and important part of where we are and what we're doing now. Um, but yeah, that's what we're doing. And if you have any questions or have any comments on that, I'd love to hear your stories on how you came to homeschool and how the Lord has worked through you. Um, and I appreciate you. All right. Talk soon. Bye. Oh, my hair.